The focal point of this exhibit was definitely this immersive video installation. The viewers entered this giant dark cube with all of these video projections. Some people even like sat on the floor to get that immersive experience. In the videos, it's actually the artist's late husband who passed away last year. So that's why it's very somber, monochromatic and color scheme. And the artist is paying tribute to him as if this exhibit is sort of like a thank you note and a love letter in one. The artist actually uses a lot of bright rainbow colors in his works, so this was a huge contrast to his usual style. And he had a reason for it. I definitely got some eerie Big Brother vibes in this exhibit. Here the artist is portraying somewhat of a technological bonfire by the way the television screens are laid out on the ground. And on the canvas paintings themselves, you see a party of people but they're clearly being watched by someone, almost as if it's paparazzi capturing their private personal moments. that footage was from late January I want to say so it was before we were obviously all quarantined and indoors but I went to Chelsea to look at these galleries and I didn't get footage for every exhibit that I went to usually I try to cover as many as I can in one trip but the ones I included I'll put in the description box below hopefully it'll be safe again soon so that businesses can reopen and people are able to go back outside I'd love to kind of make this a mini series, um, just sharing my experiences going to galleries, museums, shows. But for now, there are still ways to discover new art if you have internet access at home. I think in a separate video, I'd like to cover my favorite websites and resources to use. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.